Hey class, I wanted to talk to you in this video about the design process and what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going through this process of designing our work and posting it to a critique for our classmates to comment on it and then we're going to turn it in. And I also want to show off my new Real shirt that I got for free for filling out a survey the other day downtown. But on a more serious note, I was just going to talk to you a little bit about what we're going to do. So, for the rest of this class, we're going to basically have you take and create a design. And your design is probably not going to be perfect because no one creates perfect designs the first time. Actually, maybe some people do after years and years of training and years of years of going through this process of getting something critiqued and then turning it in. But, what you're going to do is you're going to create your design. It's going to be great in your own mind. And then... And then you're going to post your design to the critique board to let other people see it, and including me as your teacher. And once you post that critique, once you post the design to the critique board, your design is going to be critiqued and judged. And that's a good thing, because guess what? Most of the time when you get your first idea, it's maybe basically not your best idea. Then, once someone looks at it, they might have an idea and say, hey, you know, I'd suggest changing this, tweaking this, just a little bit. And then you can think of it in a different perspective because our perspectives are very limited and we're a community of learners. So let's learn from each other and let's help each other out. Now, often in the past I've got this where students will work on it and basically post it to the critique board because that's for points and then just turn it in, which actually is going to give you very little points. I'm actually not gonna be awarding really any points for that process. So I want you to at least search a couple people down to give you critique on your work. But basically, search your classmates out, get their perspective on it. The more classmates, the better. Shoot them a chat, have them comment on your work, and ask them to be truthful. Because nice comments are good and appreciative, and it's awesome. But finding something that the person can actually change on these critique boards are the most important thing. Because if you can critique it and change it, then that person can actually take that as advice to something to consider. But you don't actually have to change everything that is suggested because some suggestions are not the best. But at least you think about it. So when you're making your comments on each other's work, make sure your comments are constructive. And also basically just suggesting ideas. So hey, why don't you try this bigger, move this, make this a little bit different. Um, really change this detail because right now it's you know, making your design that much more or less. That much more or less. Weird, but it's totally true. And the main reason we're doing all this is because we want to get better. We want to be the best we can be. We want to be the best designers we can be. And in order to do that, you basically have to put yourself out there and let other people judge you. People are judging people all the time and it's such a scary thing, but it actually is so important. A lot of the things I do in my own creativity, with my own things, I have to bring to other people to have them look at it, judge it, and then I'll change it completely. Sometimes you just have to throw out the whole idea of what you were working with to recreate a better idea. And this really goes to that uh, point of like sketching it out and basically just um, putting something together that has your idea that you really like right now and putting it out there on this critique board. So make sure that your design is just a sketch. I mean, go through, work on it for a little bit, make sure it looks pretty good, and then post it. And if it's a really great design, people will give you feedback quickly, um, and then you won't have to do too much to it. But if it's a design that's questionable, people are probably gonna say, hey, change a bunch of things, and then you'll probably change them and create something awesome, and then turn it in and actually get a great grade. All right, that's all I got for you today on this uh, new process of critiquing your work uh, through the critique board and through this message board. So jump on, start your work, post it, ask some people to critique it, come back a couple more days later, and then make the changes and then turn it in. This is a couple day process, but that's going to be what it is. That's what going to be what's the most helpful to you as a designer. Awesome. Have a good day. Thanks.